Hello everybody, welcome to another tarot reading. My name is Amber and this is Earthy Indigo. I hope that you are doing very well today or tonight or whenever it is that you are tuning in to this reading. Before we jump into the reading, just a few quick announcements. Please make sure that you check out the description box below for information on how to book a personal re reading with me, um, our inquiries, my website, social media, and any uh, and all legal disclaimers as well. Please do keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across it is when you were meant to hear these messages. With that being said, I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy. Please use your own intuition and discernment to decide for yourself where this reading falls for you in your own personal timeline. I am an intuitive reader and energy reader, and I do channel messages. I don't read the cards in reverse unless I am using a specific deck, um, which we will actually be using in this reading today. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> um, sorry for any background noise. My dog is here in the living room with us. He's actually underneath the table right now. I'm pretty sure he's just going to chill, but if he starts playing, you may hear some um, playful growling noises in the background. I do also have neighbors, so hopefully nothing is too distracting and all messages that need to come through for everybody can come through for you. I do resonate with being a light worker, a starseed, an indigo and a divine feminine, and I do pick up messages for those collectives. You do not need to resonate with any of those collectives in order to find messages within any of my readings, but I do pick up messages for those collectives. Um, please keep in mind that anything I say within this reading or any reading on my channel or on any other platform is just my own personal advice and opinions, just things that I've learned along my own personal life journey, my own healing journey, and through my own research. Um, I do also have a little separate message um, for today's reading. Um, I do want to keep in mind, I do want to say that um, for those of you who have been with this channel for a while, um, new subscribers as well, you um, are all probably aware of the fact that I resonate with being a divine partner, a divine feminine. A lot um, of those within the collective um, also resonate with that. With that being said, um, I am first and foremost a light worker. So um, it's kind of like for me, the way that I look at it is like being a divine partner would be like saying I have blue eyes, you know, like, but at the end of the day, I'm a light worker and I came here to do my light worker mission. And part of my personal light worker mission is being a divine partner. Now, that is not the case for everybody. Um, and that's okay. Everybody has their own journey and nobody is here to judge anybody on anybody else's journey or on anybody else's beliefs. Um, so I do want to keep that in mind. When you are leaving comments, if I feel like the comments um, don't have the proper energy or are in any way um, attacking anyone's um, personal beliefs or maybe beliefs that other people may have within the collective, I will remove them and I will remove you from being able to leave comments. Um, this is open for any and all beliefs. But with that being said, you know, we don't accept negative energy around here. Um, if you feel triggered by any messages within any of my readings, that's because I'm a light worker. I'm sorry, but that's part of my mission. Um, that's not um, something that I can do anything about. And to be perfectly honest and a little bit frank, it's kind of your own trigger. So that's something that you need to look at. That's a wound within yourself that is being triggered by something coming up within this reading, which is probably because it's being triggered for healing purposes. Um, it is nothing personal. This is not a personal reading. None of the readings on this channel are personal readings. They are all collective general um, messages. So please don't take anything personal that I say. And if it doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. Um, there are a lot of people who watch my readings and not all the messages are for everybody. So if it doesn't resonate for you, watch a different reading, um, check out a different tarot reader or just watch it for entertainment purposes. Again, check out the le legal disclaimer in the description box below. So um, that was not something that was really uh, very easy for me to say. And I probably hopefully won't have to say that again, but I just want to um, have that little message out there for anybody, you know, before you comment, please make sure that you are being respectful. Um, and, and, you know, if you're not, then you will be removed. So that's it. 
Um, with that being said, thank you everybody for your love and support. Everybody who um, does bring the positive energy in here, liking, commenting, and subscribing is not only a fun free way to help the channel's growth and the messages get out to more people who may need to hear them, but it does also help me tune into who it is that is watching and viewing the readings so I can get more accurate and precise messages for you. Um, we're, we've got a fun reading today. So um, we are taking these messages are for you, the viewer. Um, you can apply them however they resonate for you. Please do only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't make the story fit if it doesn't. With that being said, um, let's go straight into this. Nothing is pre-shuffled too. <laughs> so um, get yourself a snack and some water right now. This is probably going to be a long reading. Um, if you're watching this at the time of upload, it is Sunday. It is a three-day weekend for me. So I'm just, um, I'm just relaxing and going with the flow and just, um, you know, I'm not going to rush any of these messages. So, um, buckle up, buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> That's the message it's going through. Okay. So, um, I have a, uh, I do have a channeled song. The link to that will be in the description box below. I also have a channeled nursery rhyme. Um, so the song is called Na Gone Do by Ash Blackwood. Um, and then the nursery rhyme is Mary Mary Quite Contrary. Um, and that rhyme makes me think of the Secret Garden movie. So um, I, also the Secret Garden movie. A lot of gardening messages. Something about like I don't know if somebody has a garden or if somebody has plants or it's just like being outside, like something about just like getting your hands in like dirt <laughs> or soil or something like that. Um, getting really connected with, with nature, with Mother Gaia, grounding. Um, so that's a lot of like what I have down here. Um, planting seeds too. Somebody might actually like literally be planting seeds as in like in a garden or um, maybe like um, you know, edible plants like vegetables or herbs or fruit or something like that. But I was also picking this up as in like, um, seeds that were planted in the past, possible like manifestations, like spiritual seeds, you know what I mean? Like spiritual growth. It could even be seeds that were planted in past lives for some. <clears throat> and then I instantly started getting, um, angel numbers. I got the numbers, uh, 5151, 606, 777, 444, 404, the number 23, and the number 8. And then the root chakra, just like the color red, the root chakra. And again, I was brought back to the gardening, um, you know, connecting with Gaia, you know, through the root. Um, for some, there might even be like a tree, a significant tree um, that you sit under um, to help connect with that. But all right, let's get um, let's get into this here. So I have the um, only deck that I will read the cards in reverse if they come out that way. Now, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Um, but I do, I actually don't know if, if I've ever said this on this channel. So for all um, who are watching, I do actually shuffle the cards in a particular way. So they are always upright. Um, so if you... Um, don't know by now my guides like to throw cards at me at flames at the floor at everything so um if the card wants to come out in the reverse it will come out in the reverse it doesn't matter um how it is being shuffled or how the cards are laid out in the deck themselves um i like to keep them all face up because i feel like the energy is more um, fluid and connected when all of the cards are face up. That's just my own personal belief. That's just the way that I work. Everybody, you know, has their own way of doing things. And that's just the way that I personally, um, do that. So, um, that's usually something that I apply only to the tarot itself, not necessarily to Oracle cards, but okay. So let's shuffle a couple of times here, get some messages for the collective. Also, um, just a heads up, if you see me going like this, I'm checking to see if this green light is on my, on my microphone um, because I have had some audio issues in the past and I don't want to film this reading without audio um, because I, this is probably going to be a long reading and in-depth. Um, and I want these messages, uh, I feel like these messages need to come out for whoever it is that needs to hear them. Again, this is for you, the viewer. 
So apply it how it resonates. If I do say things like he, she, masculine, feminine, um, I'm talking about energy. I am not talking about gender. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. It's the yin and the yang. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Keep it in mind. So this deck, if you are new to my channel um, or to one of these readings, this is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And I absolutely love this deck and I have mad respect for this deck. That's why I will read this um, these cards in the reverse if they come out that way. I also read from the deck or from the book. And the reason why I do that is because these cards have very powerful messages in them, especially within the book. And they will um, lovingly tell you what it is that you need to know, call you out if need be. So um, do be prepared here. I'm being really drawn to the third eye on the book, on the cover of the book here. So there could be something here about somebody opening their third eye. There could be a connection to ravens too or Odin, um, maybe even Freya. Okay, so let's get a card for... Um, Let's get a card for the collective, please. All right. So we have intuition. I am really not surprised at all that this card came out. Intuition. And the reason why I'm not surprised is... Surprised I'm not surprised is because I was being drawn to the third eye. Um, so there's definitely like somebody here could, I'm also getting a very strong divine feminine energy. So somebody could really be um, connected to, uh, you could resonate with being a divine feminine or you're just connecting really strongly to your divine feminine. There could be some um, feminine uh, wounds that are uh, have been healed recently. I'm also noticing the owl. For me, the owl is a, um, a symbol of the divine feminine and the spider down here and spiders they, they build webs it's ta it talks about connection i'm getting a feeling of like family there's also like um it could be connecting to your um your soul or your spirit team it could be your soul tribe too somebody here might practice divination there's this weird little cat creature in the background though that i don't really know how i feel about There could be something here to do with like um, knots, something about a Celtic knot maybe, or like braiding. Somebody might braid, like like put intentions into braids or something. Um, let's read from the book. We have, I think that's the number 22 in Roman numerals. Okay, so... Intuition, page 141. So this is a major arcana. It will have um, past, present, and future. I will read um, the meaning and then the past, the present, and the future so that you can apply it how it resonates for you. So it will be probably a little bit longer of a reading from the book. So um, just a heads up. Just a heads up for anybody who needs it. Okay. <clears throat> and hopefully I'm, I can hold this to where you are able to see it. So keywords, intuition, signs, patterns, synchronicity, trust, mystery, and magic. Key phrases, intuition is your sixth sense, the voice of your unconscious mind. Heed your intuitive feelings. Intuitive skill born of practice. Pick the option that feels right. Strengthen your intuition. Tap into your other senses. Make your best guess. Be both intuitive and rational. Watch and observe. Intuition or bad past experiences. Seek a second opinion. The meaning. There are many words and phrases used to describe the subject of the sixth influence card, intuition, that funny feeling, an inkling, a sneaking suspicion, 
a hunch, a knowing, a feeling in one's bones, a gut feeling, a premonition, a presentiment, a for and a foreboding. It is inexplicable. You cannot pinpoint why you feel or believe as you do. You just know it in your gut, and every fiber of your being demands that you listen. What is intuition? Intuition is your sixth sense. Intuition is knowing or gut is a knowing or gut feeling that you experience without fully understanding the logic or reason behind the feeling. It might defy rational thought or explanation, but you want to trust it nonetheless. Intuition is a bridge between conscious and unconscious and unconscious minds, between instinct and reason. It is your unconscious mind communicating with you. It can come to you in a flash of insight or feeling, or you can have an intuitive experience within a dream or daydream. It is also something quite often experienced during creative endeavors. In fact, most creative endeavors are better for being intuitive. Intuition is knowing that something needs to be done, not knowing why it needs to be done, but trusting and doing it anyway. Why? Because our intuition provides solutions. Have you ever walked into a room and instantly felt a certain vibe? Or met someone you are at ease with from the, fir the very first moment and felt like you have known them forever? Have you ever had that feeling that something is not right or too good to be true? Have you ever heard the phone ring and known before answering who it was? This is your intuition, your sixth sense, at work. But how strong your intuitive abilities are is dependent upon how often you use them. Do you trust that gut feeling or knowing? Or do you push it aside as, as illogical and irrational? To have a strong intuitive ability and to use it has nothing to do with the paranormal or supernatural. Would it surprise you to know that there is a lot of legitimate research, including studies by the U.S. Navy, into how intuition works and how it can be strengthened to help in, in situations where intuitive thinking may save lives? Some of the greatest scientific discoveries have been in moments of intuitive insight. Archimedes, Isaac Newton, and Frederick Kekul all followed their intuition. Albert Einstein believed that intuition was of great value when it came to innovation and invention. It is very easy to dismiss the intuitive feelings and thoughts that come to us, but your sixth sense is no different from your other senses. It is there to be used, and incorporating it into your everyday life will only enhance it. In the past, the intuition card, when it appears in the past position, asks you to take a moment to reflect upon the times when you did not heed your intuition and things did not go as you hoped. Hindsight's a biatch. We've all had moments when we wished we had trusted our gut feeling and said no to an, an endeavor or project instead of saying yes. Do not make the same mistake twice. If your gut is telling you to go slow and be cautious, do exactly that. If something seems too good to be true, then it usually is. Controversi controversially, think of the times when you have trusted your intuition and everything has felt right and, and manifested in the perfect way. If your gut is telling you that everything feels right, then heed that feeling too. Trust in the moments when everything felt and went right. Do not allow past bad experiences to make you weary. You have a chance at happiness and good times ahead if you are willing to open yourself and trust. Your unconscious mind knows that all is going to be fine. Do not let your conscious mind and insecurities talk you out of saying yes. In the present, it takes both courage and practice to heed your intuition. We are so often told, at, told to base our decisions on rational thought and logic and to weigh each choice with care. Your decision-making process can, however, be enhanced by listening to your gut feelings. In fact, it is important to use both rational thought and reason and intuition and instinct. The intuition card, when it appears in the present, signifies the importance of heeding your intuition. 
It is better to appear foolish in the short term than to make a mistake that could cost you far more in the long term. What do you do when you have half a dozen options before you and all have equal pros and cons? In the end, the only option available is to go with an intuitive decision and pick the one that feels right for you. If a situation or a person has you feeling tense, has your stomach in knots, has you feeling agitated, uncomfortable, or pressured, then back away. Trust your gut. Controversially, if someone has you feeling at ease and imbued with a sense of rightness, embrace the moment. Heed your feelings. If you have a situation that needs resolving, a problem that needs solving, somebody close to your heart that needs help, then it is time to stop worrying. Calm yourself. Calm your mind. Extreme emotions such as anger and fear will only hamper your intuitive abilities. Find a quiet place. Go for a walk to clear your mind. The answer, the solution, will come via intuitive means when you stop worrying over the problem. And for the future, it is time to learn how to strengthen your intuitive abilities in order to enhance your decisions and guide your actions in the future. When the intuition card appears in the future position, it signifies a need to observe, listen, and learn. Expand your mind and experiences. The more you know, the more experiences you have. <clears throat> the more sound your intuition will be. Although it may not seem glamorous, intuitive decisions are founded in knowledge and experience. The more practiced and knowledgeable you are, the less you have to think about a process. It becomes intuitive. For example, a skilled artisan has become so adept at their craft after decades of doing the same thing that they can make in intuitive decisions regarding their work without any conscious thought or effort. To someone observing them, they would appear to just go with the flow, and in many situations, they are doing exactly that. They are trusting their gut, heeding intuition. However, their intuitive decisions, while being made unconsciously, are based on their decades of experience and the knowledge they have occurred over the years. Experience and knowledge strengthen your intuitive abilities. So does tapping into your other senses and treating life as a sensory experience that it is. Touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sight are taken for granted. However, if you were to take the time to listen more closely, to observe more, to feel and explore the, sen the sensations that touch inspires, and to taste not only your food, but life itself, how much more would you know and understand? The key to enhancing your intuitive ability could be through experiencing your other senses to a greater extent. One of the best and simplest ways to enhance your intuition is to do regular readings with an oracle or tarot and allow your intuition, your subconscious, to give you the answers you are seeking. It is also good to challenge yourself a little by making more intuitive decisions. Examine your decision-making process. And if you are one for making slow, weighted decisions, you could try taking a little less time. Push yourself to spend less time weighing your decisions and just make them instead. Go with your gut. Defy logic. Be a little spontaneous and just make a guess. To strengthen your intuition, you do need to observe more, learn more, experience more. But sometimes you also have to think less. <clears throat> wow beautiful message i really like that okay um let's see here what should we do let's go with an animal one first let's get an animal message here for the collective please what would the animal spirit realm like to say to us today <laughs> All right, message for the collective, please. Eat. 
Eagle. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Long hair problems. Okay. We have Eagle. Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Ooh, I like it. I just got chills. All right. Um, let's do message. Let's get some messages from the universe. I actually have two um, oracle decks that are messages from the universe. So we have messages from the universe, and then we have um, a note from the universe. So we'll start with the messages, and then we'll go um, to the note. Messages for the collective purpose. And guidance. You need to know the most. Thank you. So we have, don't worry. Hold on, wait, where'd the crystal go? I'll just use this one. Don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made, even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. Trust the process. I love it. All right, now let's get a note from the universe. These cards are so much bigger. Message for the collective, please. Thank you. All right. Next time we create a little blue and green planet, spinning in space and fill it with angels in my likeness, I say we tell them early on that the game is rigged and they're going to win. Because it is, and they are. All in your favor, say I, the universe. Your whole life is proof. I like that. That was a good message. All right, let's get some unicorn affirmators. Messages for the collective, please. Thank you. All right, so we have two. <clears throat> the first one we have is good things to come. There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under wrapping paper, but they will show up when the time is just right. And that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. Trust the process. All right. And then we have playfulness. I am a playful participant in life, and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. 
All right. Let's do light worker messages. Okay, so the first one we have is the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Nope. Lightworkers unite. Don't know what to say. I want to do... I'm going to do indigo messages, and then we'll do starseed messages. So we have, um, the answer is yes. So if anybody was wondering and seeking confirmation, the answer is yes. And I kind of feel like that sort of was brought up a little bit too in the intuition. Trust your intuition here. For some of you, maybe you already know that and you were just waiting for confirmation. Um, but there you go. And then we have, it's not always about you. Let that how that resonates. Um, I feel like that message is for those who um, who maybe needed to hear that message in the beginning about me being a light worker and how this is a collective reading. Okay, now we're gonna do star seed, and then we'll do divine doors. You know, and I also kind of feel like that's a little bit for the light workers out there too. Like some of the things that we go through and some of the lessons that we learn, it's not just for us and our own soul growth. It's also to help the collective, you know, like um, that's why sometimes I share my own personal experiences because it's not because I'm seeking sympathy or because it's something that I'm going through or something that I... Um, you know, I'm seeking advice on or anything like that. I share it because it's, I share it to let other people know that they're not alone, you know, and to give examples and, um, you know, confirmation for those who may need to hear it, you know, like sometimes just knowing that somebody else has gone through something similar as you can, can be very comforting, you know, um, and maybe it might, you know, give somebody else strength to speak a truth that they need to speak. We all have our truths to speak, you know. Some people, as somebody who, you know, has found their voice, I want to be able to help anybody who feels like they can't find their voice to find their voice. And if that means I have to, you know, share personal experiences from my life, then that's what I will do. Um, and as a light worker, you know, I feel like that was part of my mission as and my learning experience to go through those things so that I could you know, have those experiences to, to be able to help other people. Um, and that's, again, just like my own personal belief and my own personal understanding. Um, take it or leave it. But we have celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. Yes, you are. Transcendence. 
Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Just heard butterfly effect. All right. Abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Speaking of doors, let's get some divine doors. <laughs> that was a good, um, a good setup for that. Come here, you. Okay, fine. We'll take you since you want to stay stuck. Is patience. Soon, every, everything soon will come to light, and then you will see things will be all right. That's like the third or fourth message we've gotten about um, something like coming in here. So I really do kind of feel like that comes back to the message I was getting in the beginning about seeds from the past being planted. Um, <clears throat> trust the process, you know, trust the process. I can't tell you what it is that's coming in for you because it's going to be different for everybody, you know, but you'll know when it shows up. Whoever needed to hear that. Message for the collective, please. Trust the universe. Seriously, like it, there's re very um, repetitive messages coming through here. Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. Have faith and breathe. Trust the process. Heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. For some of you, I think you're coming, you might be coming out of some sort of karmic cycles here. There's some sort of closing out. Um, it's like the, uh, I'm hearing like the final curtain call or something like that. Like it's right at the end. Just be patient. I also kind of feel like this is a message for somebody um, who might be trying to like control some sort of outcomes or who might be getting impatient um, with um, their manifestations coming in. Like time, it doesn't work um, at your on your schedule. That's not the way that it works. Time, time is um, how do I say this? Like it's a completely different topic but time is um only applicable in this reality so we care a lot about time time is very precious to us as human beings in this on this planet in this reality um but time in itself it, it's not it doesn't work the way that we think it does so your idea of how long something should take is not um, the same as the universe's idea of how long something should take because our understanding of time is very limited compared to the universe's. Does that make sense? To the divine. So, you know, um, be patient. Be patient. I feel like somebody might be getting a little frustrated with the, with the universe or with their guide or their higher power or whatever, like, just be patient, you know, like it will work out when it's supposed to work out. And if you're, if you're acting like that and being impatient, you're not ready for it. That's why it's not showing up. Sorry, not sorry, but it's the truth. Again, trigger warning. You got to look at, um, you know, a lot of the times, one of the things that you like, there's this meme that I'm seeing. It, it's a, like before your spiritual awakening, it shows a little kid and he's got like a boot on his face. And it's like after your spiritual awakening and you zoom out and you realize that he has a hand in a boot on his own face. So he's basically doing it to himself. It's like that. Like once you like realize that like you sometimes stand in your own way, which is normal. We all do that. Um, then you can uh, like l let it go and give it up to the universe and it'll come in when it's supposed to. And watch it come in faster. Faster by our human standards. All right, messages for the collective. That was an interesting little tangent to go on there. Okay, the first one we have is success. Bloom wherever you are planted. That's the process. You gotta remember too that things don't always like work out exactly the way that you planned it either you know like let's say for example like um i feel like i heard this as like a recent example from 
um, somebody or somewhere else recently, and I don't remember who, so I can't give credit where credit is due, but that rhymed. Um, let's say that like you want to um, like start a business or something, but you're not able to like get the um, the income that you want from that to be able to do that full time. But let's say that at the same time, like you're trying to manifest this ability to um, have this business grow. But at the same time, you get a promotion at your full time job. You know what I mean? Like the universe is giving you an ability with giving you the finances you need, maybe not from the way that you want it, but it's still providing you what you need. Does that make sense? That also can kind of go down to um, a little bit of be specific with your manifestations and your int intuitions. You know, like you've got to be specific. Um, that, that, the message just ended there. So I guess that's where that ends. So last we have move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. I feel like that was kind of mentioned in this intuition card too. Um, for somebody who like may take like uh, forever weighing decisions, you know, just make a decision. Trust your intuition. Um, let's get some inner effing peace. Onyx, it's okay, buddy. Thank you. It's okay, buddy. Thank you. Chicka boy. Okay, so the first one we have is a wise woman once said, F this stuff, and she lived happily ever after. She sure did. Seriously. Seriously. Zen AF. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Chakras loaded and ready. Live in the sunshine, swim the sea, drink the wild air. Get your sweet butt outside. Um, let's do signs from the stars. <clears throat> spiders I'm really not surprised at all that spiders came out um, we've got the spider here on the intuition card and I feel like just kind of like the last couple of weeks like spiders has been like a really big theme um, actually right before I started filming this reading I was outside and I came inside and um, right in front of me and onyx a spider decided to come into the house with us and I didn't notice really what it was in time but onyx did and once I noticed what it was it had already gone underneath the couch. So as I'm speaking and filming this reading right now, there is a spider underneath my couch. Um, I'm hoping that it just decides to go back outside um, before my daughter comes home. It's probably just a jumping spider, but um, she's terrified of them, and <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that. Um, but yeah, spiders. Definitely it could be something to do with communities here. There could be something to do with social media, with the internet. Um, I was talking about a business, maybe it's like an online business or something like that. Um, 
So it could be some sort of like a familiar. Somebody could work with Ananasi or Athena. Um, we have blue eyes. Somebody could have blue eyes. The moon. So that would be Cancer. Could be Pisces too. Um, also Divine Feminine. The moon for me is a celestial representation of the Divine Feminine. We have Winter. So Winter could be significant. We have Mercury. Mercury rules communication. So there could be some sort of communication coming in here. In here. Um, again, uh, you know, somebody might just need to speak their truth. Um, Mercury also rules Gemini. I'm also getting Virgo energy from that. We have fire sign. So somebody could be a fire sign. That would be a Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. We have Capricorn. So somebody could be a Capricorn. Um, somebody definitely could be a business owner. With Capricorn showing up here too, somebody could definitely be a business owner. An entrepreneur of some sort. Um, and Pisces. Yeah, I said Pisces. So somebody could definitely be a Pisces too. Okay, I do have Twin Flame messages, but I don't want to get to those right now. Um, let's do, I think we'll end with the Twin Flame messages. So um, I have a couple more to go through here. That one just fell on the floor. So this is the Awaken Intuition deck. Um, hold on a second, let me grab that one second. Okay, um, so like I said, this is the um, Awaken Intuition deck. I'm going to take this one um, because I feel like that was meant to come out. And especially considering the reading here, I definitely feel like um, my guides threw that one out for a reason. So we have the number 56 and the message is receive love from the other side. Loved ones who've passed on are eager to connect with you through synchronicities, dreams, music, and nature. You may also feel their spirit as an energy shift, physical sensation, or wave of strong emotion. Certain loved ones now act as spiritual guardians, sending you love and blessings. Love never dies. I love that. I love that. I'm smiling because I have a passed on loved one. Um, it's actually my grandfather, and he passed away before I was born. Um, about a year before I was born, and he's a, he was Capricorn, um, and he is a spiritual protector. He's part of my spiritual team. He's always been um, with me, even though I never, I've never met him in the physical world. I've always felt very connected with him. Um, that's very interesting. So I feel like that was definitely, I feel like that was definitely a message from him. Also, um, I, it's like one, one of my grand my um my daughter's grandfather and he um actually passed away when my daughter was little and i feel like he is also around um so it's very interesting so maybe somebody here has a grandparent that is part of their spiritual team so okay um we're gonna get some self-care messages here and then we will get the twin flame and then that's gonna be it can't believe we got through all of those um, oracle cards. All right. Some self-care messages for the collective, please. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Right. Ooh, thank you. All right, so we have an inspiration card, and the quote is, find the love you seek by first finding the love within yourself. Learn to rest in that place within you that is your true home. And that's a quote by... S Siri Siri Ravi Shankar. I probably did not say that right, and I apologize. Um, we also have the number 29, which would reduce to an 11. So 29 or 11 could be significant, or November 29th. Um, that would be Scorpio. We have reach out to find, sorry, 
Reach out to a friend for advice. Keep your heart and mind open to what they have to say. I feel like another card said something about reaching out to somebody for advice. Um, so that might be a message for somebody here. Okay. Last but not least, let's get some Twin Flame messages. Do keep in mind that Twin Flame messages is just the name of the deck. If you have a person that lives rent-free in your mind and you are curious, you would like some messages, go ahead and pause. Take a minute to think about them right now. Please do only take what resonates. Leave what does not. Uh, yeah. I just saw date night. So somebody might want to ask you on a date. Or you want to ask somebody on a date. We did have just go for it. So maybe that's kind of what somebody, maybe somebody's weighing a decision about that, about asking somebody on a date and, you know, it could just be a message on that. Just go for it. Maybe somebody's single and wondering where their person is, come, is and they're getting frustrated with the fact that they aren't showing up yet and the universe is like, trust the process, yo. Trust the process. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it came out again. Date night came out again. So somebody could definitely, um, that could be very significant here. It could be very significant. Yes, indeed. All right. Somebody could sing. There could be something to do with music too. Okay, we have a lot, yo. We have a lot. All right, distance is a factor. So there could be physical distance between you and this person. Maybe they live in a different city or a different state or a different country, maybe even. I was getting the internet or social media, so maybe that's how you connect or you meet this person or you talk to this person. Um, I will be reaching out soon. So there you go. I feel like I was getting, I was picking up on messages earlier. Oh, with Mercury, we have commu communication. I feel the connection too. My heart skips a beat when I see you. Please forgive me. Things were or are unbalanced between us. Y'all, for real, for real, we have it again. Everything happens for a reason. Trust the process. Like, how, how many, I feel like almost every single deck that had this message threw that message out at us tonight. Trust the process, yo. Trust the process. It, the divine's, whatever's going on here, the divine is taking over. Like, the divine's got it, boo. And I feel like for somebody here, like, it's a sense of, like, releasing control. Like, give it over. Give it over to God. Give it up to the divine. Give it up to, you know, the universe, whatever you believe in. But, and it, that's such a liberating feeling, too, because you don't have to worry about it. Because they're, whatever higher power you believe in, they're not going to let you down. They, they've got your highest, best, greatest good in mind for you. So why wouldn't you trust them to handle this? Do you know what I mean? Especially when they're asking very, very clearly for you to trust them. All right. I have been dreaming of you. This separation is killing me. So for some of you, this could be a separation situation between them. Between you and this person. Um, a breakup or a disconnect or something like that. Your kisses are my favorite. I think of you all the time. I want to have a family with you. There's something about you that I just can't forget. I want to get to know you more. I love you.
And finally, it was too soon. All right, you guys, those are all the messages that I have for you. I really hope that they resonated and that they were help helpful. Thank you all so very much for your love and support. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night whenever it was that you were tuning into this reading, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.